hi guys so in this video we are going to do a very simple and straightforward calculation and some comment that i want you guys to understand so that when you write your test or your examination you will be able to answer uh, this question and get full mark okay so uh, this is one of paper two uh, because it's manufacturing basically when we talk about cost accounting you are going to find it when you write your test or when you write your paper two. okay let's go straight to the question they say Mufasa manufacture a plastic uh, stationary bags and the information below was taken from the accounting record for the financial year and 30 June 2020 okay and 2.2.1 they said calculate the amount indicated by a and b okay let's write 2.2.1 a and b okay so if you check on our table we are given a fixed cost uh, which contain factory overheads and administration cost and we are given variable cost which are containing direct labor direct material and selling and distribution and the last part units uh, number of units produced and sold and selling price and break even number okay or break even unit okay and they give us 2019 and 2020 okay in 2020 they give us unit cost and total cost okay in 2019 they give us only unit cost okay now let's take our a a we are looking for administration cost okay if you check number a they are looking for administration cost which is under fixed cost Remember, they give us the total fixed cost, which is amount of 1,248,000. And we also have factory overheads. Okay, so which means that the omitted one is administration cost, which means that we can get it as a balancing figure. Because when we add factory overheads cost and administrative, it must give us total fixed cost, which means that it's very simple. We're just going to take 1,248,000 minus... 898 506 then it will give us amount of 349 140 okay that's how we calculate number a number b let's check number b number b they are looking for unit cost of direct material under variable okay how are we going to get this it's very simple every time when you calculate variable cost per unit focus on how many units produced and sold okay basically how many units produced if sold and produced are not equally just take only how many units produced okay now if you can check in 2020 we produced 24,960 unit which means that in order for you to get per unit you get a total a cost of direct material which is 748,800 and you divide by number of units produced which is 24,960 okay and this will give you 30 rand 30 rand if you don't get this correct the next question is going to give you a serious problem 2.2.2 2.2.2.2 we have to calculate a break even point okay so it's seven marks to calculate break even point but you must know formula first formula said a total fixed cost divided by selling price per unit minus variable cost per unit okay let's check our total fixed cost we have it is 1,248,000 divided by selling price per unit if you check down below is 184 184,000 minus variable cost per unit how many variables that we have there are three we have 56 we have 46 
and we have this state that we calculated then we will get what our total this side okay if you add this three first you get, you're gonna get total variable cost per unit okay and then this one will give us 50 52 and if you said 1,248,000 divided by 52, you're going to get amount of 24,000. This is not in rent. 24,000 unit. That's our break-even point. Break-even point is a point where we didn't make any profit and we didn't make any loss. Okay. So now we, uh, we have to answer the following question according to understanding of break even point point where there's no profit there's no loss in other words if we produce 24000 unit we are not going to make a profit and we are not going to make a loss okay do you think the business should be happy with the break even point and code the relevant figure to support your answer do you think uh, they are going to be happy let's check Point where there is no profit, no loss is this one. And how many units did we actually produce? 24,960. Which means that we produce more than point of no profit, no loss. If we produce less than this, it's a loss. If we produce more than this, it's a profit. If we produce this, no profit, no loss. Which means that the business is... The business is going to be happy because business produce more than what? More than break even point. You have to quote. Remember they said you have to quote. They produce 24,960 and B-E- P is 24,000. That's what they mean when they say quote is to quote. Okay. So I hope you learn something. Please make sure that you join our extra class guys so that you can learn something. And also don't forget to purchase a study guide if you are looking for a question paper like this so that you can practice. Uh, more and more we have a study guide for grade 11 and grade 12 and grade 10 so if you are looking for study guide make sure that you text us so that you can study as early as possible and the class guys the class are available uh, now it's only 100 rand per month and you're going to attend twice every week so please make sure that you join as early as possible don't for wait for examination to come so that uh, because guys if you wait for examination, you are going to suffer because you will find that we almost covered a lot of things and we are just doing a revision. Do yourself a favor, join in time, communicate with your parents so that they can help you to play the tutorials and learn with other students online. See you on the next one.